And in case uh, Indian cricket fans are wondering what the key reason for India's failures was, is it safe to say they didn't do what Australia did with the bat? The top order failed once again. Absolutely. I think uh, we cannot hide from the fact that the Indian middle order or the Indian top seven batters haven't got the scores that they would like. We are talking about consistent collapses. Is batting difficult on this pitch? Most definitely. There is no doubt about it. Batting is hard on these pitches. But as a team, they've chosen to play on these pitches, which tells me that they need to back themselves doing well on this pitch. And they are capable of it. A lot of the players in isolation has probably played in tougher pitches over a period of time. But playing international cricket is a different ball game altogether. When you get out a couple of times, there's so many doubts that come. The confidence gets low. And then to go out there and still back yourself to play those big shots just to get away from pressure can be really hard. I completely empathise with the Indian batting right now the Indian batters right now it's hard work but that's what test cricket is all the players out here have all been under pressure at different points of time in their test career and here is another question because they will accept that a large part of the batting has been camouflaged by two things the lower order contributions and the fact that India won both those test matches and if you rewind to a little bit behind if you go to the Bangladesh series there also they struggle against spinners but it was camoufla camouflaged and why because India won those two test matches. And most importantly, the lower order contributions in many ways helped a lot. But when you lose a test match, it's glaringly obvious. It's it's right in your face and people will speak about it. And they're right in doing so because it's obviously happened consistently over a period of time. Are they capable of getting runs in, in these kind of pitches? Definitely, yes. Is the opponent struggling? Again, it's a big yes. But it's been happening so consistently that people are going to ask questions saying, how can we? How can the fact that Team India is consistently backing these players, but they are not producing the scores that's required? What I love about days when there's cricket is that there is less negative chatter on Twitter. People are expressing their opinions on the sport, focusing on hashtag India view Australia as opposed to other uh, not so pleasant things that they tweet about. We've got a a question uh, for Dinesh Karthik uh, with hashtag Crickbus chatter. Ask Crickbus chatter. Sejuti Saha, good to have this question. When Indian batters score runs at home, their skill set is hailed. But when they don't, the pitch is blamed. This isn't the case with other batters in their home conditions. Shouldn't the narrative be the same? Logical. Okay. Very well put, Sejuti. I think I have to agree with what he's saying. It's perfect. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I kudos to that. It's not a question. It's a statement, what he's saying. And it is true. You know, when they do well, obviously, they're giving credit. But when they do, do, don't do well, it goes back to the pitch being bad. But the one thing that I will tell to Sejuti is the fact that India haven't done well in the recent past in pitches. And we spoke about this before the series as well, when they finished against Bangladesh. What is India's biggest challenge going to be? Playing off spinners. It's been an Achilles heel for some time. And who has done well in the test match that they've lost? Nathan Lyon. Who's done well consistently through for Australia? It's been Nathan Lyon and Todd Murphy. So, the question is right there. The answers are for the bat batters to search. They are going to go and search for some answers to some high quality off spin that both Todd Murphy and Nathan Lyon seems to be delivering in every spell.